Hi there. We're going to learn how to draw ionic bonds using the Lewis dot structure. So ionic compounds are composed of a cation and an anion. Cations have a positive charge, anions have a negative charge. Ionic compounds are electrically neutral. It means the positive charge of the cation cancels out the negative charge of the anion. So if there's two, a positive two charge over here and there's a negative two charge over here, they cancel each other out. So let's see this in action. Okay, so the force that holds the ions together, that's called an ionic bond. Opposite charges attract to each other. So a negative two and a positive two would attract to each other and become neutral. Opposites attract. Here we have the negative, which is an anion, and a positive, which is a cation. Here we go again, opposites attract. That would be an ionic bond. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so the dot structures, let's do these as Lewis dot structures. They'll help us to show the transfer of electrons. So here we have a K attaching to a Cl, which is potassium attaching to chlorine. Now, potassium has one valence electron, chlorine have seven. So what happens is that potassium shares its electron with the chlorine and that losing its electron, the potassium here, it becomes a positive um, charge to it because electrons are naturally a negative charge. So when it loses a negative charge, it becomes a positive. So the K or the potassium becomes positive and the chlorine becomes a negative. They're equal, negative one, positive one, so that they create a bond and now they're neutral again. Okay, so let's try rubidium and fluorine. We add them together and they have one, rubidium has one valence electron, fluorine has seven. So what do you think the end product would look like? Okay, if you thought, oh, that electron would move over and rubidium would become positive, you are right, and fluorine would become negative, and they'd have an ionic bond. Okay, so Be plus Se. Be has two electrons in the valence electron area, and Se has six. So what's going to happen? All right, so Be is going to transfer over those two electrons, and then BE will have a positive two charge and the SE will have a negative two charge. Therefore, this is an ionic bond. They are equaling each other out and because opposites attract, they'll become neutral. Okay, magnesium and chlorine. All right, magnesium has two valence electrons. Chlorine has seven. Okay, something is wrong here. Hmm, how can we fix this? What do we need to add to make this an ionic bond? If you thought, well, why don't we just add another Cl? That's exactly what we need. So for this to become an, um, a balanced chemical formula or compound, you have to have magnesium and chlorine, but you have to have two chlorines so that it can bond correctly and be a nice strong bond.